Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. Uh, so today's question is from the topic of planes. We have been asked to find the equation of a plane which passes through the line of intersection of two planes that are given to us. The first plane's equation is x plus 2, y plus 3, z is equal to 2. And the other plane's equation is x minus y plus z is equal to 3. Further, it says that we have to find this equation at a distance of 2 by root 3 from the point 3, 1, minus 1. Right? So from this point 3, 1, minus 1, we have to find at a distance of 2 by root 3 the equation of the plane. So let's understand the solution for this. Now, whenever we need to find the equation of a plane, we can find it by this idea a plus lambda b is equal to 0, where a is your first equation of the plane and b is the second equation of plane given to us. So, if I put that, I get x plus 2y plus 3z minus 2 plus lambda x minus y plus z minus 3 is equal to 0. So, if I take x as the common thing here, I for x we have 1 here and here we will have lambda. So, 1 plus lambda into x plus if I take for y, I have 2 here, here I have minus 1 and lambda. So, 2 minus lambda y plus here I have 3 for z and here I have lambda, 3 plus lambda z and apart from that the constant term is minus 2 minus 3 lambda is equal to 0. Right. So, this is my required equation of plane. So, in that, if I know the value of lambda, I can just substitute the value of lambda and get the required equation of plane and I'll get my answer. Right. So, now to find the value of this lambda, we can use the idea of the distance which is given to us from this point 3, 1 and minus 1. So, if I use that idea of distance here, the distance is given to us as 2 by root 3 that is equal to mod of, so when I want to find the mod first, what I'll do is, I'll multiply a1 into a2, so coefficients of x, 3 into 1 plus lambda, b1 into b2, so 1 into 2 minus lambda, plus c1 into c2, so minus 1 and 3 plus lambda. So when I have minus 1 here, this sign becomes negative, so minus of, 3 plus lambda and I have minus 2 minus 3 lambda as the constant term. In the denominator, I will take root of all the coefficients of x and y and z square. So sum of the square, so 1 plus lambda the whole square, 2 minus lambda the whole square and 3 plus lambda the whole square. So now if I solve this idea and get the value of lambda, I can just substitute and get the answer for the required equation of the plane. So let's first try to solve this. This gives me 2 plus 2 by root 3 is equal to mod of. So this becomes 3 plus 3 lambda plus 2 minus lambda minus 3 minus lambda minus 2 minus 3. So what you get here, let's check out. So 3 plus 2 is 5 minus 3 minus 2 again 5 minus 5. So this gets cancelled. So this gets cancelled, this gets cancelled. Now I have 3 lambda and minus 3 lambda that's also getting cancelled. So what I'm left with here, I think in the denominator, is only 2 minus lambda. So minus lambda minus lambda, that will give you mod of minus 2 lambda. In the denominator, if I check out, so this gives me root of, this becomes 1 plus 2 lambda plus lambda square. Using the idea of a plus b the whole square, so this becomes 4 minus 2 lambda, so 4 minus 4 lambda plus lambda square and this becomes 9 plus 6 lambda plus lambda square. So if I see what I get here left out in the test, lambda square plus lambda square plus lambda square, so 3 lambda square, 6 lambda minus 4 lambda, so 2 lambda, 2 lambda plus 2 lambda is 4 lambda again and for the remaining coefficients 9 plus 4, 13 and plus 1, so 14, right? So I get this idea. Now what I can do here is I can take the square on both sides. So first of all, I'll write whatever I have got. 2 by root 3 was mod of minus 2 lambda and root of 3 lambda square plus 4 lambda plus 14. So 
3 lambda square plus 4 lambda plus 4. So now if I take square on both of the sides, I get here 4 by 3. And here I get so square of this would become 4 lambda square. And the square of this, what will happen is the square root will get cancelled to the square. So you will get that expression as this. So 4 and 4 gets cancelled. If I take this here, it goes in the numerator. 3 lambda square plus 4 lambda plus 14 is equal to 3 lambda square. So again, 3 lambda square minus 3 lambda square is 0. So what I'm left with is 4 lambda plus 14 equals to 0. 4 lambda is minus 14. So lambda is minus 14 by 4. That is minus 7 by 2. So now once I get lambda, I can just substitute the value of lambda in the previous equation of this plane. And I can get the required equation of the plane that is astronomers. So now 1 plus lambda x. So if I put here the values of lambda, I have here 1 minus 7 by 2 into x. After that, it was 2 minus lambda. So 2 minus of minus means 2 plus 7 by 2. Why? Plus 3 plus lambda. So 3 minus 7 by 2 z and it was minus 2 minus 3 lambda. So I can write this as minus 2 minus 3 into minus 7 by 2. That is equal to 0. So what I get here is 1 minus 7 by 2 that is minus 5x by 2 plus. This becomes 2 plus 7 by 2 so 11y by 2 further. 3 minus 7 by 2 so 6 minus 7 minus 1 z by 2 plus. This becomes minus 2 plus 21 by 2. So this gives me minus 5x plus 11y minus z the whole upon 2 and this becomes minus 4 plus 21 so 17 upon 2 is equal to 0. 2 if I take it here it gets multiplied with 0 what you are left with is minus 5x plus 11y minus z plus 17 is equal to 0. Taking everything on the other side, I get 5x minus 11y plus z is equal to 17. So this is my required equation of the plane that I get here. And if you see the option which matches here with the question is option A. Right? So the correct answer to this question is option A. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions where required equation of plane is asked. Two equations of plane were given. I just used this idea to get the required equation of plane and then use the idea of distance to calculate from this point so that I get the value of this lambda. And once I get the value of lambda, just substitute and you get the required equation of the plane. Okay. So I'll meet you again tomorrow with the next question. Till then, you can like, share and subscribe if you are finding this helpful. Thank you.